lot of people have been talking about Uga's little tweet that he put out here about Terrence Crawford. It's rubbing the people the wrong way. It's looking like some haterade at the end of the day. And this is my analysis on it. Uh, of course, Ugas is out here talking about Terrence Bud Crawford's opposition, basically saying who is he and the casual fans don't know who he is, blase split. Why Ugas would go out of his way to say something like this, I don't know. But we're going to break it down. Okay. Number one. People like always talking about Terrence Bud Crawford and his opposition. Um, Rocha. And this is the thing. The last time I'm checked, unless I'm wrong or I read something incorrect, the last time I checked, the WBO ordered this fight. And the last time I checked, the WBO is a sanctioning body. And last time I checked, you're going to have to fight uh, people within that top 10 uh, rankings to maintain being able to hold the WBO and that organization. You know, why am I even saying this? Because number one, people are talking about a fight that was ordered by a sanctioning body. But since we talking about ordering fights and complaining about opposition, the WBC has some fights that they should be ordered. And why haven't they ordered a mandatory title defense for Charlo in two years? Once again, this guy was ordered. Jamal Charlo was supposed to have several fights ordered for him to fight. And he hasn't done it. So because Terrence Crawford is following the rules of the sanctioning body, which they all have, you guys want to criticize him, but don't say nothing about the WBC, not ordering no mandatories. You guys are ass backwards, but I'm going to take a level deeper than that. And this is regards to Ugas. Quiet is kept, Ugas. If you fought Terrence Crawford, the casual fans wouldn't know who you are. That's a fact. The casual fan don't know who your Dennis Ugas is. That's a fact. So the same thing you're trying to criticize him for, you fall in that category, my man. Casuals don't know who you are. Which leads me to my final point. Basically, what you're trying to say now is rankings don't mean anything. Because last time I checked, wasn't um, Rocha, wasn't he ranked third in the WBO? Last time I checked. You know? So what you're trying to say is rankings don't mean nothing. So what you're trying to say is we should be putting together spectacle fights. That's what you're saying, right? Then do you not know that you're openly admitting that we need to get rid of sanctioning bodies and rankings because they don't mean anything because casuals don't know who these guys are. Casuals don't follow rankings. Casuals don't care about mandatories and stuff. They don't even know the ins and outs to all of that. So basically what you're saying is, Fighters should get fights based on popularity, not achievement. Thank you, Ugas. Thank you. Do know that's what you're saying, right? Let's make the fight that casual fans know. Forget the guy who has earned the shot. Forget the guy who has fought his way uh, to his mandatory position. Forget all that. If we don't know you, let's not make the fight because the casuals are not familiar with you. So therefore, it doesn't count. But if rankings do count, well, he's ranked number third. So that's definitely not nothing to shit on, but you're basing it off. We don't know him. And, you know, since we don't know him, then let's not make fights that casuals don't know. So therefore, let's get it. Let's throw the belts away. Let's throw the rankings away and let's deal with who can just make the loudest noise. That's what you're saying. If that's what you're saying, fine. 
I just want you to be aware of what you're actually saying by saying this. Which basically that's what this sport is anyway. Which leads me back to the main point. Are you saying we should get rid of these belts and these rankings? Hell, I'm with that. Screw it. Fuck it. Let's get rid of it. But you can't do that because that's too much money they're going to lose. So since that's money that they're going to lose, don't knock nobody for following the rules of the sanctioning body. I'm out. I ain't got nothing else to say.